this is the link for downloading microbin if you double click on this you will have some download option on the right top if you click on this it will be downloaded as a zip file on the desktop create a folder and store the zip file inside the folder on the desktop create a microbin folder and when you are downloading it from the link that zip file you keep it inside this you can do this either on desktop or in any d drive d drive no problem right click this zip file give extract files okay now you can delete the zip file if it is occupying space you can delete it this folder is enough for us now double click inside the system inside the system you have microwind 31 double click this this is the software no need of any installation okay every time you close it okay you want to leave yes you want to leave every time you close it this is my folder microwind this is my extracted folder inside this system inside this microwind 31 this is the software on which I will be drawing the layout. Okay, no need of any further installation. Every time the opening process is like this. And here you have the technology what you are going to use. Technology what you are going to use. And generally we will let us go with the select foundry, file and select foundry. I will go with CMOS 025 and open. It is getting updated. Here 1 lambda equal to 0 0.125 micrometer which is 125 nanometer. This is 125 nanometer. Always lambda is nothing but half of the processing technology. Our processing technology what we selected here is 250 nanometer. What we have selected here is 250 nanometer. So here 1 lambda is half of the 250 nanometer which is 125 nanometer. It is displayed here 0 0.125 micrometer. Okay, in nanometers it is 125 nanometer. And this is for opening a file, uh, uh, already uh, any file you want to open, already previously worked files that you can open in the first option. Next is save button, next one is draw box, next one is delete option. This is deleting a part of the layout after drawing it if something goes wrong. And this is for copying one element, other element, this is for copying. This is for a stretch and move, if you want to extend if you want to move from one place to other place any component you can use it that option is for uh, one place to other place movement this is zoom in zoom out this is for full view if your uh, entire layout is in a structured manner to bring it within the fixed window you can click this view all then this is another option view electrical node this is for run button and this is for measure distance 2d and then this is 3d and uh, this is DRC, design rule check. DRC, design first for uh, any coding you write, first you will check any syntax error is there, something like that, design rule check in VLSI. After design rule check only, you have to execute the layout. This is run button, which will be executing the layout. This is add text to layout and the connect layers. This is for graphs or something. And this is the palette. This is the palette from where components can be taken on the right side. If I close this palette, you can again open it from this option. And this is for moving the screen right, left, up and down like that. Uh, you can also click on uh, uh, view all to get the entire design within the fit visible window. Okay. So this is about the options inside the microwind. Uh, with this, the explanation of microwind software is completed.